Hey now, it's Anthony with a a Professional Services. Please follow me on Snapchat, Facebook, and Instagram. Thanks for watching. Hey now, I received a message on my Facebook yesterday. It was from a YouTube subscriber. He started off by saying that he's just started his business and people are already hating on him. So it got me thinking. And then he went on to say that he's gonna allow, he's gonna let the hate fuel his success. And so it's, it got me thinking some more. So I think I touched on this before. I don't think I really went into detail about it, but we have all said that statement. We've all said that, man, the haters hating on me. I'm going to go harder. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that because of the haters. And now that I think about th those type of statements, it don't make no sense. And I'm going to tell you why. Major reason is that the mere fact that the person is hating on you in the first place already shows that you've already won before you even started. You won already. They won't be hating on you or they wouldn't be hating on you if you didn't have the potential to be successful or you weren't already successful. They wouldn't be dealing with you at all. If you was a nobody, if you wasn't doing anything these people won't even mention your name or say anything about you. So that alone should already let you know that that there's no need to try to prove haters wrong. Another reason is that when, when a person decides that they're going to make it their mission to just hate on everything that you do and hate on you, They've already made up their mind that they don't like you. They've already made up in their mind that they're going to disagree with everything that you say. They already made up in their mind that it's their mission to keep you down by actions and statements. They've already made up their mind. So when someone has made up their mind, it's pretty much nothing you can do to get them to stop another reason is that they're going to continue to move the finish line just imagine if you was running this big race, big marathon and you look you know a half a mile maybe a quarter of a mile down the road and you see the finish line, you see all the people waiting, cheering you on and when you almost get to that, that finish line they take the tape and move it a mile down the road. That's what a hater would do. They'll move the finish line. Let me give you an example. If you guys watch YouTube, especially in the detailing community, you have people on here say, oh, you're not a detailer. Oh, you don't charge enough. Oh, they saying all this stuff to discourage you, to make you feel like what you're doing ain't good. They'll say, oh, you're just a car washer. So let's just say, okay, well, I'm going to start detailing. I'm going to start clean, waxing, polishing, paint correction, the whole nine. You start doing that, you get pretty good in there. You start showing a whole bunch of videos detailing. You know what they're going to do? They're going to say, oh, well, he's getting a lot of details, but that's because he ain't charging enough. That's what they're going to say. They're going to keep moving the line back. When you start charging enough, they will come up with something else to say. Oh, his work ain't really that good anyway. You see? You charge them too much for the work that you're doing. You see what I'm saying? So, don't let haters fear your success. Are you listening?